Hey everybody, so I thought it was really important to show you exactly how this whole thing works because it's really confusing to be honest with you. So with multiple managed accounts, what you have to do is you have to build something to pass those lookups. And so some of the use cases you have for multiple managed accounts could be if you're a consultant, if say you, you have a, a group of consultancies and you all have VMware accounts, uh, that's a good example. Another good example would be if you have multiple mailboxes, maybe you have multiple mailboxes that are actually enabled or even a, a mailbox in a different environment. Those are all good examples of things that you might use in multi-managed accounts. So if you ask product management VMware, what they're gonna tell you is, is that you should use AD custom attributes because you basically have to build lookup values to pass the username into the, uh, into the configuration. So what I'm gonna tell you is, is the right way to do it is actually with custom lookups. So instead of uh, devices in general, you go to lookup fields. So I built a couple of, of custom lookups. So I have one that gives me basically my username. I don't, we're not gonna really use that here. It's not really necessary. But I built one for the work I do at AdviseX because my email address for my company has two J's in it and theirs has one. And so I built this really basic real expression that says, you know, skip that first J. And so you can see this lookup field, advise X. And so we're going to step right into actually configuring my advise X account in here. And then we'll go to a, we'll show you a demo shortly thereafter of what that user experience looks like. So inside of Boxer, if you go into a sign, and I really like the way they did this because it could have been very painful, but they actually did a really nice job on how they kind of brought everything together. So instead of your assignment, you're going to see under in the email settings section, I'm just wait for this to finish. So you can see here, I have, you know, my standard Office 365 account. Now, if you click this add button, it creates a separate one. And I'm, we'll call, I'll call this AdviseX. And so, you know, as we're all on Office 365 nowadays, we do this. Now, here's a little tip. If it's Office 365, you're doing notifications, you do not need this EWS URL. It's completely unnecessary. Just a little tip for you. And so you don't need the main, it's Office 365. So what so you'll see there is I, I created that lookup so that what I can do is I go advise X. at advisex.com. And you see those there. And so I built all that out. And you can see it's got the same kind of stuff you would have normally. And so I, I go into configuration. You know, we want to turn on modern auth, obviously, Office 365, because we don't want to do anything legacy. And then we will enable our notifications. So we're back. I set that notif those notifications. We added that out so you have to see my token and all that good stuff. And you can do a lot of the other same things you were doing before too, right? So you can you can you know configure your sync if you want to set that specifically. And like we mentioned in the article, there are a, a lot of the additional things like you know spam and phishing and stuff like that you can support and configure. Mobile flows, of course, do not work. So at this point, all you end up doing is just a save. We're going to do a save and we're going to do a publish. It's just that simple and you got your whole stuff all set up now.